Good morning, Odelsi Middle School students. This is Mr. Woolley, and today we're going to be talking about Lesson 10. It's our first lesson that talks about multiplying with positive and negative integers. All right, so all we're really going to focus on here is we have these starred cards here, and I wrote a negative 5 in there. So I have a negative 5, a negative 5, and a negative 5 in those cards. And what we're going to do is we're going to write a product. Now remember, product means multiply. Write a product that describes three matching cards. So I wrote on 3 times negative 5. When we set these up and think about multiplication, the first number is how many you either have or don't have. In this case, I actually have three cards that match, and on those cards are negative 5s. So I have three of the negative 5 cards. Now write an expression that represents how each of the starred cards changes your scores. Well, if I have a negative 5 and another negative 5, and another negative 5, I'm going to keep dropping down 5 points every time I draw one of those cards. So what does that mean? Well, if I drew 3 negative 5 cards, it's going to decrease my score by 5 points the first time, 5 points on the second card, and then 5 more points on the third one. So the overall change in score is going to be negative 15. I'm going to drop down 15 points. So what's an equation that describes this product and how it affects our score? If I draw 3 of the negative 5 cards, I get a negative 15. So remember, the first number is how many you have or you're getting rid of. In this case, it's how many I have because I had three of those cards there. And the second number is just whatever's on those matching cards. So if I had three of the negative 5s, it means I'm going to drop down 15 points. All right, next up. Part D, that's what we're going to focus on here. I'm not worried about the other empty cards up there. We're going to pretend i got a bunch of fours here laid out. And write a product that describes the dimension cards. Well, I have five, it's a positive number because I have those cards, of the four cards. So I have five of the four cards. See, there's four in all of them, so that's the number that's on the card. Now, how is that going to change my score? Well, if I draw a four card... And another, and another, I keep adding four and, uh, to my total every time. So if I draw five of the four cards, it's the same as adding four a whole bunch of times. So remember, multiplication and addition are related. Write an integer that represents your total change to the score by those five cards. Well, it's going to go up 20 points. It's a positive 20 there. Write an equation that relates this. If I have five of the four cards, that's what's on the cards, it's going to increase me by 20. And 5 times 4 is 20. All right. So let's take a look here. It says use the expression 5 times 4 to relate the multiplication of a positive value card to addition. Multiplying a positive integer card is actually repeated addition of the positive integer card. And it's going to increase your score. So multiplying with positives is going to just keep adding to your total. Now on this one, on L, Use the expression 3 times negative 5 to relate the multiplication of a negative value card to addition. Well, multiplying a negative integer card is repeated addition of the negative integer, and it's going to decrease my score. Remember, when you add negative integers, you go down, 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 down your total. So there we go. All right, let's take a look at another grouping here. And it says, if all of the fours from the playing hand on the right are discarded, that means you're getting rid of them. How will the score be affected? Model this using a product and an equation. Well, if these are my matching cards, I got these, these three fours right here, and I'm getting rid of them. Well, what does that mean? Getting rid of means I'm going to make this a negative for my front number now. How many? I'm not getting three. I'm getting rid of three. So it's a negative. And what is on those cards? I'm getting rid of, of the fours. Now, why is this a negative 12? Because the score decreases by 4 three consecutive times for a total decrease of 12 points. If I get rid of this 4 card, I drop down 4 points. If I get rid of another, I drop down 4 again. If I get rid of that one, I drop down another. So overall, you're going to lose 12 points if you get rid of those cards. Now in B, it says what three matching cards could be added to those pictured? So like your drawing cards to get the same change in score. So what three cards can I draw 
to get back up to this negative 12 that you see here? Well, I could draw a negative 4, a negative 4, a negative 4. I could lose 12 points that way. So up here, I got rid of three cards that had 4s on them, and that lost me 12 points. Or I could draw three cards that have a negative 4 on them to lose 12 points. So if I get three of the negative 4s, it's going to lose 12 points as well. So I could draw three negative 4 cards to drop down 12 points. All right. Seeing how each play affects the score, relate the products that you use to model them. What do you conclude about multiplying integers with opposite signs? Well, in A, remember I was getting rid of three cards that had fours on them, and I lost 12 points, negative 12. In part B, I drew three cards that had negative fours on them, and I lost 12 points. Multiplying using opposite signs results in a negative product. So multiplying one positive and one negative is going to give me a negative answer. All right, let's take a look at another problem. I'm only concerned with the matching cards, so just those negative twos is all I'm concerned with here. If the matching cards from the playing hand on the right are discarded, because I'm getting rid of them, how will this hand score be affected? Model this product and equation. Well, if I'm discarding all four of the matching cards, that's a negative four. I'm getting rid of all four of those. Of what's on them? A negative 2. If I get rid of 4 negative 2s, I'm going to get a positive 8. And I might wonder, like, well, how's that work? Well, when you drew these 4 cards, it dropped you down 2 points every time. But if you get rid of 1, your score is going to bounce back up 2 points, bounce back up 2 more, bounce back up, bounce back up. You're going to actually gain 8 points by getting rid of those negative cards. So, they ask a similar question to the previous problem we did above. What four matching cards could be added? So I'm going to get four cards to get that same change in score. Well, up here, I gained eight points. So what could I actually do? I could draw four cards that had twos on them. Four times two gives me eight. So I could draw four of the two cards to increase my score eight points. Remember, that first number is either getting rid of cards, if it's negative, or you're getting cards, you're drawing them, that's a positive. All right? And the second number is just whatever is on the cards. Here I had negative twos, here I had positive twos. <clears throat> so, for C, seeing how each play affects the score, relate the products you use to model them, what do you conclude about multiplying integers with the same sign? Well, we had a negative four times a negative two and it gave me a positive eight. Four times two gave me eight also. So multiplying using the same sign results in a positive product. So the big idea to remember from today, if you multiply with opposite signs, you get a negative answer. If you multiply with both numbers having the same sign, it will be positive. So for example, if I took a negative 3 times a positive 7, they have opposite signs, so it's going to be a negative 21. It doesn't matter if, where the signs are at, if I have a positive times a negative, they're still opposite signs, so it's going to be a negative 21. Now here, I have the same signs. Three time, negative 3 times negative 2 gives me a positive 6. And 8 times 3, of course, just gives me 24. So remember, up here, if you have opposite sign numbers that you're trying to multiply together, it's going to be a negative answer. If the numbers have the same sign, you're going to get positive answers. All right, and then just a couple more examples here. These are just some possibilities I came up with. How do I get cards that increase the score by 8 points? Well, if I drew 4 of the 2 cards, it's going to bump me up 8 points. I could draw 1 card that has an 8 on it, and that's going to bump me up 8 points, etc. That's just some possibilities. Some situations where the cards decrease the score by 9 points. Well, I could get rid of 1 card that had a 9 on it, and that's negative 9. Or I could draw 3 cards that had a negative 3 on it, and I'd lose 9 points there as well. Or, part C, removing. That means I'm discarding. I'm getting rid of cards. But I'm going to increase my score by 10 points. Well, I could get rid of 2, a negative 2, of my negative 5s. If I get rid of 2 negative 5s, my score will go up 10 points. Or I could get rid of 1 card that had a negative 10 on it. It allow my score to go up 10 points as well. So that's just some possibilities there. And positive cards that decrease my score by 18 points. Well, I could get rid of three 
of my sixes, and that would be 18, uh, 18 point loss. Or I could get rid of two of my nine cards, that would be an 18 point loss as well. Those are negative 18s for my answers, obviously. So those are some possibilities. All right, well, thanks for watching, and go ahead and give your Schoology um, practice a try today. Thank you.